Hey guys, Aton, welcome back to our channel. So today we're making a super delicious, but not that hard to make breakfast that all people of all ages can make, whether you're a kid watching, whether you're a teen watching, whether you're an adult watching, this is a breakfast for those days where you have a little bit extra time that you want something better than just a bowl of cereal. We are making French toast sticks with a maple dip. It is super delicious. Let's just get started. All we gotta do right now to start is take a bread. I like to use challah bread. It's super great for French toast, but you can use kind of any type of bread you have on hand. Uh, just use what, whatever works for you. All right, so let's now slice this. And what we want to kind of do is make around one inch thick slices because we're going to cut them into these and then actually go like this and cut them into these logs or sticks because that is going to be the shape add in. Right up here we have some whole milk straight into here. Now let's crack in our three eggs. One. Oh. Take two. <laughs> egg number two. And finally, egg. I look like such an amateur. <laughs> egg number three. Whenever I do things on camera, it always comes out not as good as in real life. All right, there we go. Now let's add in some honey for a little bit of sweetness. I'm just gonna try to use our whisk to get that all in there. Okay, that was a fail, that did not work. Let's just use this spoon, get all that honey in there. And let's add in just a little bit of vanilla extract for a flavor booster and whisk that all together. Next, to prepare the cinnamon sugar mixture, we're just gonna take uh, some sugar over here, add that into our bowl and add in some cinnamon and let's just mix that together. And now fun fact, I kind of always have some mixture of cinnamon sugar in our house because I use cinnamon sugar for everything, whether it's churros, uh, French toast, I just kind of always have an extra container in the house. And then like every time I make it, I forget I have a container. And then we now just have like a whole cabinet full of containers of cinnamon sugar. All right, let's take our pieces of bread and we are going to place them into here. And you want to soak them for about 30 seconds per side. Flip it, let it soak for 30 seconds on the other side and repeat that with the rest of our bread. All right, so it's been a few minutes. I did some cleanup, and now it is time to coat these in cinnamon sugar. This is what's gonna just take it to a whole level, make it a nice crunchy outside. So let's take our trusty forks and grab them one by one. They're gonna be very, very brittle right now, or soft, not brittle, brittle means hard. <laughs> and let's kind of just shake it all in the cinnamon sugar and really coat every single inch of it in the cinnamon sugar because what we're going to be doing is creating basically a nice sugar crust on the outside that will make it super nice and crunchy. All right, there we go. Let's place that onto there and we're going to repeat that with the rest of the strips of bread. I'm just going to do it with my hands. Why not? All right, so I clean my hands, clean the surface area because it's now time to fry these up. I have a stick of butter right over here, or half a stick of butter, and my hand is, my hand, my pan is preheating. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this stick of butter and melt it all around. Let's add in some of our French toast sticks, and you don't wanna overcrowd the pan with these because you wanna be able to flip them, so I'm gonna do about two to three at a time. It looks like I'll get probably two in at a time. All right, there we go. I'm now gonna fry these up till they're nice and golden brown on all the edges, probably about two to three minutes per side. Uh, and then we're gonna bake them in the oven and then it's eating time. All right, so now we're gonna wanna pop them in the oven because all we've done is caramelize the outside, but the inside's still gonna be super nice and custardy. So you wanna make sure that it's fully cooked. So bake this in 375 for about five minutes. All right, so these just came out of the oven and they are nice and crispy and delicious. The whole house smells incredible. Quickly, before we eat them, we're just gonna take a little bit of Greek yogurt, add that into our bowl over here and add in some maple syrup for a quick little dipping sauce. Just mix that all together. Now let's take our French toast sticks, place them onto our plate. Oh my God, this looks and smells absolutely incredible. Now let's put a little dollop of our maple syrup Greek yogurt on there, and maybe let's spoon a little more onto there, and bam! That is how you make some incredible, super easy, super delicious French toast sticks. All you now gotta do is take a big French toast stick like this, look how big this is, it's basically the size of my face, and dip it. I'm just gonna rip off a little piece. Look at that inside. You have the crunchy outside, you have that nice custardy delicious inside. There's just one last thing to do, let's dip it in and give it a bite. Mm. The perfect breakfast. 
This is seriously a delicious take on your classic French toast. The outside, because we coated it in that cinnamon sugar, has this nice crunchy crust from the sugar that's been caramelized. Then, my mouth's literally watering as I'm talking, I can barely talk. Then on the inside, we have that super nice soft challah bread that is almost custardy from the egg and milk mixture that we soaked it in. And overall, it is just packed with flavor, super delicious. And the best way to top it off is a quick dip in the yogurt. Mm. If you want the full written recipe, as always, link to it is in the description box below. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching and hit that bigger subscribe button so you'll be the first one I post new videos and you can get tons of recipes in your subscription box. Okay. If you need me, I'm just gonna devour the rest of these because it's that good. Hope you have a great day. This is gonna be my breakfast.